Like the previous games in the series, Global Offensive is an objective-based multiplayer first-person shooter. Each player joins either the terrorist or counter-terrorist team and attempts to complete objectives or eliminate the enemy team. The game operates in short rounds that tend when all players on one side are dead or a team's objective is completed. For most game modes, once a player dies, they must wait until the round ends to respawn. Players purchase weapons and equipment at the beginning of every round with money awarded based on their performance. Completing objectives or killing enemies earns the player money, while negative actions, like killing a teammate or hostage, takes money away from the player. In addition, when a round ends, all players receive some amount of money, with players on the winning team receiving substantially more. CSGO came out in 2012, and I started playing it towards the beginning of this year, so I'm a bit late to the party. But since 2012, it's grown a ton. It's the biggest PC shooter, so people like shooting other people in the head to 16 rounds, and whoever does that the best wins the game. CSGO is like Call of Duty, but you have more options on how you go about shooting other people in the head. And I like that sort of thing, so I thought it was a good idea to do my physics project on CSGO, specifically looking at smoke grenades and their projectile motion, and we wanted to solve for gravity in CSGO. Here's a clip of me throwing a smoke grenade at a 45 degree angle to the ground. To find the distance the smoke grenade travels, we need to measure the time it takes to run to where the smoke grenade lands. Here's a clip to look at everything from the side. I took those clips and I put it in a program called AV Demux to run through the video frame by frame to get accurate times of how long it took to run to the smoke grenade and how long it took to accelerate to 250. But for the purposes of this video, I'll be showing you the times in Sony Vegas. So it takes 0.917 seconds to accelerate to 250. We'll start from that exact frame and time how long it takes to reach the end of the arc. We recorded the times for the other four clips and rounded the average to the nearest thousandth. Smoke. It takes a smoke grenade 3.367 seconds to hit the ground. So we still need to know the total change in height, which should be the height of the player model, which they give us on the developer's website. They also tell us all the values of the speeds in miles per hour, so we plotted the speeds they gave us with the game speed on the x-axis and the miles per hour on the y-axis to find 250, which came out to be about 10.65 miles per hour. 10.65 miles per hour is 4.761 meters per second and using that information we can find the distance by splitting up the time traveled time travel the distance traveled when it's accelerating and the distance traveled when the speed is constant to sum everything up here is a nifty diagram made by yours truly the smoke grenade was thrown at a 45 degree angle, which means the initial y velocity and the initial x velocity are the same, which lets us solve for gravity. Because horizontal velocity of a projectile stays constant through the motion, we know that this is also the initial velocity of the y direction, and using the initial y velocity, we can find gravity is 4.916 meters per second squared, which is nearly half of the gravity on Earth. That concludes the project. It was a lot of fun finding all this information and looking for it because a lot of these games are not designed for looking at physics.